Hi there, we got some interesting materials today. Here we got gum rosin, which is tree sap that has had its turpentine distilled out of it. And here we got gum mastic, which is the same kind of resin from the mastic tree. And here we got beeswax. And finally, ground lapis lazuli. The beeswax has almost melted, so it's time to start adding the other materials. Start off by adding some gum rosin, then we add some gum mastic. Finally add the ground lapis lazuli, which is the bright blue powder. It's been pulverized. And we just gotta stir it to incorporate the ground lapis into the mixture. Now we can pour the mixture to let it cool off. And the result are these balls which sort of have the consistency of plastic, very hard, but you put them in warm water and they they soften up. These two balls are going to be put in warm water uh, and kneaded when they're softer. This will be done once a day for three days. Here the balls have been kneaded out into a more suitable form because they soften up more quickly in when I make these long sticks out of them. And finally, after kneading for several days, we knead the mixture still further. Now, in a very, very mild, <laughs> mild is also sort of oxymoronic when dealing with lye. And here is the result. Here is some of the more higher quality stuff I got. And here's a paler shade of blue. I was able to make the pigment relatively pure uh, by washing it repeatedly and drying it out. I had to almost like pan them like you would do gold. And then the wax and resin particles would concentrate in particular locations. And I could take them out with my finger just barely at time small amounts at a time uh, while not taking away too much pigment. That